Hi guys, it's Bax and President Ross. Today we have an updated election map. Who do you guys want to win? Also, like, share, and sub. All right, everyone. I'm President Ross, and we have updates. Our source number one is the Rasmussen polls, which states that Donald Trump has a two-point lead over Kamala Harris as of right now. Our second source is going to be filling in the map thanks to the Rasmussen polls. Let's begin. Washington State with 12 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Oregon with 8 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. California with 54 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Hawaii with 4 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Alaska with 3 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Montana with 4 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Idaho with four electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Wyoming with three electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Nevada with six electoral votes is not colored in. It is a toss-up state. As of right now, it has reclaimed the toss-up state status. Utah with six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Arizona with 11 electoral votes is two clicks, three clicks, red for Donald J. Trump. Sorry for the misspeaking. <laughs> Colorado with 10 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. New Mexico with five electoral votes is light blue for Kamala Harris. North Dakota with three electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. South Dakota with three electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Nebraska is red for Donald J. Trump. The first district of Nebraska is red for Donald J. Trump. And the second district of Nebraska is blue for Kamala Harris. But Nebraska at large AL is red for Donald J. Trump. Kansas with six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Oklahoma with seven electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Texas with 40 electoral votes is two clicks pink for Donald J. Trump. Minnesota with 10 electoral votes is light blue, two clicks for Kamala Harris. Wisconsin with 10 electoral votes is gray. It will not be colored in. It is a toss-up. It could go either way at this point. Michigan with 15 electoral votes is three clicks Red for Donald J. Trump. It is slowly turning from toss-up blue to light red for Donald J. Trump. He's got a little lead in Michigan, which was a Kamala stronghold for so long. Iowa with six electoral votes is two clicks red for Donald J. Trump. Missouri with ten electoral votes is red. For Donald J. Trump. Arkansas with six electoral votes is red. For Donald J. Trump. Louisiana with eight electoral votes is red. For Donald J. Trump. Illinois with 19 electoral votes is light blue. Two clicks for Kamala Harris. Indiana with 11 electoral votes is red. For Donald J. Trump. Ohio, two clicks with 17 electoral votes is red. For Donald J. Trump and J.D. Vance. West Virginia with four electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Kentucky with eight electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Tennessee with 11 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Mississippi with six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Alabama with nine electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Florida with 30 electoral votes is two clicks pink for Donald J. Trump. Georgia is interesting. It is, I believe, a three-clicker for Donald J. Trump. 16 electoral votes. It is going slowly back to being a toss-up. Oh, I hope, uh, I hope everyone is prepared for which color this turns out to be on Election Day. South Carolina with nine electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. North Carolina is also a three-clicker again. Huh. The 16 electoral votes are a three-clicker red for Donald J. Trump. He's slowly losing his grip in North Carolina. 
Trump supporters should beware. Kamala Harris supporters should be rejoicing that his grip is being lessened on Georgia and North Carolina once again. Virginia with 13 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Pennsylvania with 19 electoral votes is three clicks red for Donald J. Trump. He has a small point three lead in Pennsylvania. So this determines everything. Whoever wins Pennsylvania wins the election. It is almost guaranteed that Pennsylvania is the state both candidates should be focused on right now. New York with 28 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Maine with the Maine at large is red for Donald J. Trump. The district of Maine is blue for Kamala Harris. And Maine at large is red for Donald J. Trump. The rest of them, New Hampshire, Vermont, Connecticut, New Jersey, Massachusetts, Delaware, Rhode Island, and the like are all blue for Kamala Harris. That currently puts Donald J. Trump at 298 and Kamala Harris at 224 electoral votes with two toss-up states. So if we fill in the two toss-ups, blue for Kamala Harris, we're just going to do an example, she would have 240. If she got Pennsylvania, which is 19, she would have 259 to Donald Trump's 279. But if she got Georgia, GA, bottom right, that would give her 275 to his 263. So this is just an example of the states that Kamala Harris would have to win in order to beat Donald J. Trump. So turn Nevada back to gray, and then also turn Wisconsin back to gray, and then Georgia. And that's what the current election map looks like right now. Who do you guys want to win? Let us know in the comments. I'm Bags. And I'm President Ross. And we are out. 298 electoral votes. Ah!